Can I just say that it's no small thing to do things uh, at least for some to do things to do things in a way that will glorify God and be effective. And what I mean by be effective, it means that you do the right thing and um, you power through doing the right thing and it turns out exactly the way you want it to. <laughs> At least for me, it hasn't been that easy. Uh, first of all, I'm learning how to do things the right way. Uh, and I take that, if you haven't figured that out yet, I take that pretty seriously. To learn how to do things the right way and then do things the right way. Um, I looked at bearing the burdens different. And what I mean by bearing burdens, it, it means to take on the responsibility of being an example before God until recently and I've been kind of walking it out and then I and I thank God that he's kind of uh, showing this to me in 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 my study I'm going from Genesis to Revelation and sharing the journey with you I promise you I'm going to do these in 10 minutes or less um, you know, just going through and then compliment, uh, or, and, and then um, uh, having a conversation or talking about my experience and going through this. And I'm looking at the priesthood, which is amazing, and, it, and talking about the clothes. And keep in mind, if you haven't looked at any of the previous videos, please support me on YouTube. Uh, lock, lock and load, look at some of the previous videos. I don't post them all, to be honest with you, because some come from such a raw place. I'm, I'm still contemplating whether it's me or I'm trans, uh, transmitting what God wants me to say. But for the most part, they're all over there on YouTube. Please consider supporting me there. Um. But I'm going through the priest clothes right now in Exodus chapter 28 and talking about bearing burdens. Um, God, God designed uh, six articles of clothing for the priest, all having some significance and all connected with each other, which means they kind of represent uh, not kind of, they represent the kingdom and how the kingdom should operate through the priesthood. So this specifically, specifically is for the priesthood, the pastors, the teachers, the evangelists, you know, what we call the fivefold ministry out of the um, New Testament um, but very real in the Old Testament, in, in, in the priesthood, at least here in Exodus, of just Aaron. So I wanted to go over some things with you and, and show you some of the connective tissue of the mindset that you have to have just to be a called out priest. And and I'm you know and I didn't put the word bearing there for for uh, um, any other reason other than it shows up here in in Exodus chapter twenty eight. Um, powerful, in verse 
4 it says, And these the garments which they shall make, a breastplate, an ephod, a robe, embroidered coat, mitre, and girdle, six items. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother. They they being, by the way, there was there was no charity. They being skilled people within the community. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother, his sons, which talks generationally, that he may minister unto me in the priesthood. Notice he didn't say minister unto the people. Ministering unto the people is ministering unto God. And they shall take gold, blue, purple, scarlet, and fine linen. The linen was twined, twisted. Um, and they shall make an ephod of gold, uh, gold, blue, purple, scarlet, fine twined linen with cunning work. In other words, this stuff look good. <laughs> and shall have two shoulder pieces. Thereof joined to the two edges thereof, it shall be joined together in the curious girdle of the ephod, which upon it. See how everything's connected? Now this, this is me being a geek to, to some of you. <laughs> Again, if you don't study the Bible, then this probably sounds like crazy, but to me it's all so connected. Uh, and the curious girdle of the ephod, which upon it shall be the same according to the work thereof. In other words, it's going to have the same colors. And thou shalt take two onyx stones, grave, and, and, and grave on them the names of the children of Israel. So there were two onyx stones with the names of the two children. This is important because I'm going to jump down to verse 12. i got about three minutes. And it says, And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulders of the ephod, stones of memorial unto the children of Israel. Aaron shall bear their names. Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord. Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord upon his two shoulders for a memorial. This shows the purpose of the priesthood, to bear, you know, when it says bear the burdens, I think what people mean is, I'm going to go and intercede for you. That's not what this means. This means I'm going to go into the Holy of Holies bearing your names. And I'm not going to, I'm not just going to intercede for you. I'm going to be an example for you. I had one of, uh, and he, if he, I'm sure he'll listen to this, you know, he texted me and told me about, you know, because the people are getting on his nerves, and I said, okay, <laughs> but you're the example. <clears throat> They're supposed to get on your nerves. Look at the example of Moses when he was interceding for the people when God talked about them being a stiff-necked people. And then Moses reiterated to him, you, get, you gave me a stiff-necked people. That's part of the process, to bear the burdens of the names of Israel. Not to throw them away. Not to cause more burden on them. See, the goal of the minister... And I think they cleaned this up with Joshua. The goal of the minister is to, de to deliver the people into Canaan. The minister is the judge, by the way. And I'll talk about this in, a, in another video. But in verse 15, he says, Thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work. The minister is the judge. My job as a minister, and I say I'm a, I, <laughs> but I haven't figured it out yet. One of my brothers called me. He says, he says, hello, pastor. He's a pastor here locally. He, and he calls me pastor all the time. And I tell him, I'm not a pastor. <laughs> and in all these years, he keeps arguing with me. The breastplate is for judgment, not judgment in calling people out. Judgment in showing them what is right. 
So you have to think to yourself as a minister, are you bearing the burdens of your people? 